In today's Canva tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a profile picture for your YouTube channel. The best part is that it can also double as your profile picture for other social media accounts. Stick around for all of the tips and tricks you're going to learn for both Canva Pro and free members. And lastly, you'll learn where to customize your profile picture within YouTube Studio. What you need to do is get your correct size for your profile picture. And what I tend to use is 800 by 800. Go to custom size, put in 800 by 800 and make sure it says PX and create a new design. It will open up a blank design for you. And if you click up here and you title it something that you can remember, for example, this one's called profile picture for your YouTube channel. When you look up what will you design and you put in profile picture and go to your project, you can easily find that project within your design. Let's find the first element we need for a profile picture. In the elements tab, look at lines and shapes and it's going to be right there, the circle, or you can click C on your keyboard and a circle will come up. We're going to make it almost the size of the square. 773 looks like a pretty good size. We're going to go to center and middle. Profile pictures with this yellow color really stand out to me, so you might want to try it if you've not found a brand color yet. F8CF2C is the number. Next up, we need a frame, and you can find this circle frame by scrolling down, and right there is frames, so we're going to click that, and we're going to make it the same size as the circle. We're going to go to 773, position, center, middle. I'm going to go ahead and grab my picture, and the image that I'm going to use is called Young Beautiful Woman Wearing a Red Suit. Take your own high quality picture and upload it into Canva instead of using a Canva image for your profile picture. Uploads and then upload media and bring it in, in from your device. What do you do with this image? You're going to click edit image and background remover. A little later on, I will share with you a great website to use if you don't have Canva Pro, I'm just going to click out of it, I'm waiting till saving paused finished, and now I can shrink this up. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and then put her right into the frame. And you see when I put her in the frame that you can see that yellow circle. So we're going to double click. I want her to be a little larger. If you're having trouble seeing everything and you need it to be smaller there so that you can see the whole image and you can do that and you see I could even make it really large and then I'm left clicking and adjusting the image there but we're going to make it just a little bit smaller and click out and now I can make this larger again. This would be fine by itself, right? And you're not even going to see the white background, but if you wanted to do something with that white background, you could actually make it yellow. It's going to go into the profile in a circle way anyhow, but we'll make it black so that you can see. And then we're going to go to elements, go to lines and shapes, and grab this circle border. I'm actually going to make the circle border one of the colors in her suit, and then we'll make it the same, 773. Actually, you know what? We'll make it a little bit bigger and position center middle. You can download it just like this. Share, download, PNG, Select your page, page one, and download. What would you do if you had a free account? What you're going to do is go to erase.bg. You will upload an image. I'm just going to use the same image from Canva, but you would upload your personal 
professional image and you can even take it with your cell phone we're gonna download upload upload media there it is and you can just pop it right in we're gonna download it like this and it looks pretty much identical and if I wanted this to be closer to the same then we're just gonna go like this and download that top one one more time with a transparent background that way I know which one's the pro and which one's the free you can also make it your Instagram picture so for this I actually just <laughs> covered it up look at that little sneaky sneaky how can you change this when you hover over it edit profile picture and it will automatically take you to your YouTube studio so it's very very simple and it automatically takes you to your customization tab and your branding tab here's your pictures and it says it's recommended to use a picture that it's at least 98 by 98 pixels and 4 meg or less let's just click change first we're going to grab that Canva Pro image and you can see you don't see any background and here is the free version and you can see the black background there but when I click done you don't see the background and then you would click publish and once you click publish it's there for you I did a video recently talking about 25 different ways that you can use Canva for YouTube. Which one of those ideas would you like for me to explore next? And if you haven't seen that video, it's on your screen right now. If it's not there, look in the description. I'll link to it. It's a five minute tutorial that you should watch if you create videos for YouTube. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.